Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these kind of videos, but uh, I was <laughs> honestly just kind of reminded of it from uh, my good friend Rondax um, that Bionicle Day is tomorrow. Uh, today, now that you're probably watching this. Um, and I feel like I haven't gotten a just, like a proper video out. I mean, I sure I threw out like a little roadmap of what I want to do, but um and so I I do apologize if you can hear any fans in the background. Um my AC went out, so I'm doing all that I can. I I been literally animating naked <laughs> in the nude. Um and right now I'm literally just sitting in a pair of shorts. <laughs> so I I do apologize if you can hear the fans. But, um, uh, what I wanted to talk about was just, like, a proper return to my channel. Um, because I, I actually, uh, I was in a, um, Discord chat with, uh, Biorock Dude, and, uh, I don't know what his Biotube name is, uh, I, I guess he would be, actually, you know what, he did tell me. Um, he goes by Replicator right now, but... Um. Oh God, I I can't I can't find his thing. I, if if I can if I if I do find his uh, biogram, I will give you the name. I I cannot remember off the top of my head. Uh, but I was talking with him, Replicator, and I believe there was somebody else. I can't remember if it was just the three of us or four. Regardless, um, because uh, I was talking about that, I was like, you know, I even though I came back, it feels like I'm not getting as much views as I did beforehand. And, uh, I don't know if that's just me or not, but, um, because I was saying, you know, I feel like I've killed my channel with a lot of the, uh, the gaming videos. Um, and they were saying, like, maybe, and even Rondax and, uh, Tech, and maybe, I think Teron mentioned this, but, like, th they were all saying the same thing, just maybe make an actual video stating that you are back. I, I thought about doing a live stream, but I haven't had really the time to do that. Um, so, I guess this is that video then. Um, I, I just want to talk about a lot of the uh, things uh, that I want to accomplish, One of the, a lot of the things that I want to do um, as regarding the series and everything, even though I, I threw up that roadmap. That's just a rough kind of uh, guesstimate of what I want to do and what I might do. Um, Obviously, Self Mox Adventure Season Two is uh, it. It is in production. I, this isn't like one big elaborate hoax. I'm not just putting my mocks on a fake set. You know, I I actually am filming that, um, and I'm planning a season three. Uh, part of me is thinking I don't know if I will do a season three, just because I want to jump into some of these other projects first. But I'm I've had such a blast writing and animating season two that it's encouraging me to do a season three just because of the fact that I want to find a way to top what I've done in season two, which is going to be very difficult <laughs> as far as the humor. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, self mock adventure season two, I'm planning to release, um, very beginning of 2023, um, uh, having some problems with some voice actresses again, and I, I promise you I will not allow self Mug Adventure Season 2 to suffer the same fate as Insurrection Season 2 with the problem as voice with voice actresses. I am currently talking with um, a, a voice actress right now for Hydrix. I thought I had one for both Ash and Hydrix, but she has fallen severely ill. I honestly... I'm not 100% sure what her status is because she has been offline since uh, the end of March. Uh, actually, April. Um, so, I, I, I'm, I, I'm really praying that she's okay, and I, I hope that you guys do the same because it, it's not so much just as, like, hey, this is somebody who I really wanted to voice for me. No, no. I got to talk to her. She's a really, really awesome person. I'm genuinely worried about her health, and I hope that she's okay, but I unfortunately had to move on from her 
I hope that I can work with her in the future on other projects. Um, but I, I just... I cannot afford to wait. I do not want... Again, I do not want Self Mock Adventure Season 2 to suffer the same way Insurrection Season 2 did with not having a voice actress readily uh, available. Um, but back to uh, the rest of the, the roadmap that I uploaded. Uh, so, ins or not Insurrection. Self Mock Adventure Season 2 is... I'm planning early release for 2023. Um, I'm only a few episodes in. Regardless, that shouldn't be a problem. I've been hammering out what I can, when I can. Uh, self mock Adventure Season 3, again, should it happen, depending on the timeline of how I can get things done, uh, because I plan on shooting, or writing, as soon as I'm done filming uh, Season 2, I'm going to be planning on writing Season 3. I should probably be doing that right now, um, but all my time and effort is going into filming Season 2. Now, uh, Season 3 might have a little bit of a longer production time just because depending on when I can film and how long it takes to film, I hope that I have it done before the end of August next summer because it was supposed to be this summer, um, end of August this year, but uh, next August I will be moving down to Texas uh, with my I I I really want to say brother at this point because he's he, you know he's like literally one of the best friends that I've ever had. Uh, Tectonic Films. Um, we're gonna be sharing a home, which is awesome. Uh, and I can't wait for that. But um, things happened here in my home, uh, with my, just where I live now that wouldn't have made it possible this year. Regardless, uh, Self Mock Adventure season two and three, um, twenty twenty three. I would hope probably early 2024 for Season 3. Now, after that, that is where it gets a little tricky because I really wanted to do Insurrection Season 4 uh, immediately after Self Mock Adventure Season 2, but I have different plans for that as far as like filming goes that wouldn't have made it possible to do. And with the house that I live in now would also make it very hard to do because uh, beforehand it was literally just me and my mom um, when I was doing Insurrection. Well, I mean, my, my sister was home too, but I've, there's more people at this house now, and I'm not able to film the way I did Insurrection Seasons 1 and 2 the way I would want to do Season 4. Insurrection Season 3, I, I do apologize, will not be getting a, uh, a show. It's going to stay in script format just because... I don't feel like revisiting that. I The only footage that you guys will ever see for Season 3 is the one at the end of the whole damn story and then the clip that I uploaded of Season 3 with Sardix and Aqua. Um, but uh, I really wanted to do Insurrection Season 4 right off the bat. That I'm kind of putting on the back burner and I'm hesitating if I even want to do it. I, I do want to do it, but there are other projects that I'm eager to get to, such as... Um, Vanguard. Uh, Bionicle Vanguard is... Uh, I, I've already reached out to... Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry because I, I, I cannot remember everybody's names and if it's uh, who's doing what. And I, I believe it's Starguard who is doing um, a show also titled Vanguard. I had no idea about that until I brought uh, the the idea of my Vanguard up to Tyrannical and Rondax. And they're like, yeah, dude, Starguard's already got a Vanguard. I was like, well, shit. I talked to him I was like, hey, is it okay if uh, I come up with this show? You know, I didn't even know that yours was... In. We we discussed, and he's like, yeah, no, it, it's going to be completely separate, so don't worry about it. So, uh, Vanguard, I'll give you a little detail on that. It's n not ca a canon show, but it takes place after uh, my canon story. So, in so it, it's a whole war that Sardix and his friends went through. The very ending of that, and then a different possibility of what could have been um, instead of the first Sardix movie. And I'm very eager that I, I've been writing some notes down for it. I haven't officially written it. I wrote the very beginning just because I do want to film the very first scene of that show. Uh, here in Minnesota, I have a specific place in mind, Corey Hill, um, that haunted place. Uh, 
I want to film the very first scene there uh, before I move to Texas. Um, but Vanguard, you know, it, it's it's Sardix. Uh, he kills Oronix. Just give a little rough uh, storyline here. He kills Oronix, becomes president, finds out that the war is still going on between um, the Sankari and Medical. And just for rough context, I changed Toa to Sankari and Makuta to Medical. There we go. Transition over. Moving on. And the war between, between the Sankari and Medical have still been going on during his presidency and after his presidency. And he goes, okay, well, I need to finish this because apparently I didn't do that. And he goes in and it becomes a whole thing that they thought was completely different. Um, at one of the other shows that I want to do, uh, whether it's before or after Vanguard or even after or before Insurrection, is uh, The Fall of Ardonia. The Fall of Ardonia is the only canon show that I will probably have time to do. Um, it is the story of not so much Collis, but the Ardonnaissance in general. It's... Uh, I'll have to make another video on uh, another day. Um, but it's the rule of Ardon the first. There was a mock that I released uh, when I released him, it was Ardon the fourth. He's the orange and teal Ardonnaissance prince. Um whose brothers to Mardon, the uh, red, the bright red uh, Ardonnaissance that I made for the Sardix movie. It focuses on their grandfather's rule, uh, their father, and then they are in the show as well, um, but it's also focusing on Collis, uh, Collis's best friend, his whole team, which is uh, the elite guard for the Ardonnaissance Empire, and again, the the title of the show speaks for itself, The Fall of Ardonia, and what caused them to fall, or how, so much how they fell. Um, and then, uh, I actually gotta pull up the video, so give me one sec here. Sorry, I had to make a quick reference to the roadmap. Um, but uh, those are the main shows that I want to focus on, is self Pocket Adventure Season 2 and 3, Insurrection Season 4, Vanguard, and The Fall of Ardonia. Now, I had originally planned on doing a, a final film, which would have been, as you guys saw in, at the end of the uh, uh, roadmap, was Connor the movie. Connor is a brand new character of mine. You've seen him in some of the little animations that I did uh, earlier in the year. Um... Or, yeah, yeah, it would have been earlier in the year. Uh, he's got the uh, Red How Nuva. He's a brand new character of mine um, with uh, self mock Adventures. And I was going to give him a movie, and the the movie title is Con of the Movie, uh, directed by Tannerite Luminol, uh, written by Felix R. Chasey. And the, Felix and Tannerite made this movie and are trying to get you know, it's it's just basically one big mishap, kind of an SMA movie, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because there are other projects that I would like to do. For instance, I really want to do a remaster of the first Sardix movie, you know, combine parts one, two, and three into the full film like it was supposed to be. I've also thought about doing the rewrite of the first Sardix movie, who I've, I've talked to uh, Sir Mox, Sir Sound, um, I don't remember which one he goes by particularly, uh, but I rewrote the first Sardix movie. I know I put a uh, post on it on, on my channel about it. I don't know how many people have read it, but it is definitely a far superior film to what I threw out back in, what was it, 2017, 2016? Um, I would love to do that. I don't know if I could, but regardless, I would love to. Um... After that, there was uh, The War for New Pangaea, Seasons 1 through 7. That is the canon story that I planned on doing. I, I, I had a trailer for it. Um, if I can find the trailer, I will put it in the video here, like the footage over the, the audio. Um, I had a trailer for it that was going to be the show that led up to the movies. I would love to do that show, um, mainly in live action, but I don't know if I would have the budget for it just because of the things that happen. I could easily do it in stop motion or just with Bionicles in general. Um, but then that brings us to Connor the movie, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't think that I will do the, the new Sardix movie or the War for New Pangaea as much as I would love to. Um, I could try. It would be very difficult. But again, that depends on if I have time for it 
after I've done Self Mock Adventure Season 2 and 3, Insurrection Season 4, Vanguard, and Fall of Ardonia, because those are the main things that I want to focus on. Well, I believe that kind of sums everything up for all that I wanted to touch on and uh, talk about. Um, but before I go here, I do want to give you guys some sneak peeks of some of the things that I've been working on. Um, it's, uh... I, I, I didn't want to, like, reveal a lot. I, I um, There's something that I've been, like, that I kind of try to live by. I don't do it very well at all. But confuse them with your silence and shock them with your results... But I feel like I do owe you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the things that I have been doing. Uh, just because the long hiatus and that kind of cruel April Fool's choke that I pulled on you guys. Um, but I will give you a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I've been working on uh, in regards to Self Mock Adventure Season 2 and Insurrection Season 4. Um, so, again, uh, happy Bionicle Day, everybody. I'm glad that I can actually be back into the community and able to even say those words. It's been a long time, but um, I really hope that you guys have a good day and uh, enjoy the sneak peeks. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Adios. Wait, who? Ah, what the? Ah, Starnix, stop huh? it! Ah. Definitely saying the trumpet. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. I still have that shape in one armpit. A little bit of Tina's what I see. You ruined my montage! A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. And you don't seem surprised by this? Oh, no. Fuck it.